There is a message from National Treasures. Please check it. A scene of brutality, a moment of violence, a fierce tiger tearing at the rear of an ox, huge horns no defense against the wild beast slavering behind her. Her fate sealed. All she can do is to try her best to shelter the innocent calf under her belly, to stave off the inevitable for a few moments. This unique relic is one of the few remaining traces of a long lost ancient people called the Dien, a mysterious people who inhabited the vicinity of Lake Dien Shu in what is now Yunnan province some 2,000 years ago. Little is known about them because they left no written records. For insights into the lives of this long lost people, we must rely on the tangible legacy they did leave behind, superb bronzeware. For example, the Tiger Ox Altar, an amazing tableau in bronze of a life and death struggle on which more than 2,000 years ago, sacrifices were made in the hope of taming the wild, seemingly uncontrollable forces that filled life with danger and uncertainty. Perhaps that's why, in a sense, it's so poignant. It encapsulates the hope that those forces could be controlled, the gods could keep the wolf, or in this case, ravening tiger from the door. Your children safe, in return for a small sacrifice, of course. The tiger and ox proved an enduring motif. Fast forward a few hundred years, and though the ancient kingdom of the Dien is no more, the two animals are still with us, by now appearing on a variety of different artifacts. The narratives differ too. Gone the hapless, helpless cow of the altar, under the eyes of two frightened monkeys and a bird. While one ox gores the tiger, the other stops it making a getaway. Shell containers were unique in the ancient Dien Kingdom. They were used by kings and nobility of the Dien Kingdom for storing seashells and other treasures. Whoever cast it must have been an intrepid explorer, as well as a superb craftsman. It's a meticulously well-observed depiction of the law of the jungle in action, of nature red in tooth and claw. It contains a message too, that there's no need to dumbly submit to the law of nature. Even the tiger, the king of beasts, may be usurped. Starting in the Han Dynasty, around 2,200 years ago, Depictions of scenes from real life began appearing on shell containers like these, giving us a fascinating microcosm of life in that vanished kingdom, especially into the lives of its ruling class, its kings and nobles. The picture that comes across is one of pride and prosperity, of a life revolving around sacrifices to the gods, sacrifices rewarded by success in battle and hunting. So far, about 100 shell containers have been unearthed at various sites in Yunnan. The motifs on earlier examples drawn from apparently mythological sources, later ones more inspired by everyday life. Exactly when is not known, but at some point during the Eastern Han Dynasty, beginning 2,000 years ago, the ancient Dien Kingdom disappeared, leaving nothing behind save these bronzes. Gone? Forgotten, perhaps, or perhaps not. Next time you're in Yunnan, listen out. Could it be that, in a sense, they're still with us? Their voices echoing through the mountains and valleys. Their spirit living on in the songs and dances of the people who live there to this very day. <laughs>